Come on, tell us. Good boy. It's a windy and cold day here in the UK and training goes on. This is Talos. He is a young stallion. He's coming up for five years old and obviously he's in training for all the sort of things that I want to do. He's far too big to be a historically accurate medieval warhorse, but he's a lovely personality and he's got some tricks already. Good boy, good boy. Um, and he's quite feisty when he wants to be. And I've got to train him with all the flapping things and cloaks and uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, and, and get him performing gently and well. Uh, so an opportunity like this is rather a pleasure because I can go out and about, test out the medieval clothing, see how this cloak in particular works on a ride and train him in all sorts of different areas. Um, just ordinary riding with a cloak is important, but going through the trees, working out how that, uh, uh, how he deals with that, and getting him used to cameras and getting him used to all sorts of uh, things that he's going to encounter in his, uh, in his working life. And also, most importantly, for pleasure, because the reason I put so much work into looking after managing and training horses is because it gives me a lot of pleasure. So it's important not to lose track of why you do things. And I do my horse training, my horse research, my horse riding, because it gives me joy. And that's an important thing. Come on then, tell us. Let's go. Let's get you out there to the landscape. Actually, shall we show a few of your tricks? Good boy, good boy, good boy. This is Spanish walk in training. It's a bit ragged, but it's going quite nicely. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Good boy. He's going to encounter a lot of things in his uh, life, and one of them is sheep. So I'm going to go up to the mm. sheep we've got uh, on our land and uh, uh, get him used to them a little bit. He's seen them a bit before from a distance, but Luckily, they're just up here, and uh, let's go and see what he does. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Other horses as well. Good boy, walk on. Good boy. Good boy, he's doing ever so well. Oh, oh. Good boy. Good boy. Come up. Good lad. Come up. Well, that went well. Doesn't seem to be too worried about sheep, although he was thinking more about his friends than the sheep. But uh, it's always good in training to take the opportunity to do training in general. It's, uh, it's useful. So when you go for a hack or for a ride on a horse, you are training it, even though you're just having fun. Right, let's go for a nice ride in medieval kit. Here we go. Good boy, come on. Come on. Good lad. It's, uh, it's very brisk out there, but it's gone very, very well. They, I tell you what, this cloak keeps you warm, but it gets in the way when you're riding. It, it kind of, if you're going fast, it sort of swooshes away and you sort of need to catch it under your, <laughs> under your knees, which is not a particularly elegant position to ride in, but I guess people would have done that. 
This, uh, this saddle is not a medieval saddle, this is a Spanish saddle. Um, it fits him well, I haven't got a medieval saddle that will fit him yet. Um, I'll have one made soon. But uh, it's kept me fairly warm. One thing I do notice though is my hands. I've not seen any illustrations of anybody in medieval times riding with gloves on, apart from armoured gloves of course and gauntlets. So they did have them, but I've not seen them with just with warm gloves on. We know that there were mittens and things for people working out and for building and for farming. I've not seen anything like that for riding, so I wonder what they did to uh, keep their hands uh, from being freezing cold. That's an interesting one to think about. Possibly they didn't really bother too much. Maybe they just kept their hands wrapped inside their cloaks like this. It's quite possible. But quite frankly, if you don't want to be elegant, you just want to be warm, you just wrap yourself up like this and ride where you've got to go. Basically, travelling at winter was muddy, dirty, cold, dangerous. You don't have much time for travel. So I reckon they probably just avoided it. Hey, that's really annoying. You've got my cloak. Oi. Oi, oi. Oh, naughty boy. Did he bite it? <laughs> yes, he did. He took a piece out of the cloak. <laughs> there you go. Another dangerous thing. Don't let your horse bite your cloak. Right, that's it. I'm going to go in and have a nice cup of tea and give him some hay and a nice feed. And uh, see you next time.